Okay, what you're going to learn in this tutorial is how to make an infinite scrolling background as you see here. You're going to learn how to animate the player so it animates as it goes up and down. You're also going to learn how to make a particle system that moves along with the player as it moves around. You can get the sprites for the player by going to littleguyscgi.com. You'll just, uh, on the site, go to Game Visuals by clicking on this link. Scroll down, click on Game Assets. Scroll down and then you can just click on uh, where you see Vehicles and Mechs. Uh, these sprites will be provided to you free of charge. You'll just click on here and uh, you'll be taken to a place where you can download these sprites. Hi, this is Ali Arango for Game Visuals as well as LittleGuyCGI.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make an infinite side-scrolling background in GDevelop 5. So let's get started. Okay, with these tutorials, I like to start off as much as I can from a blank, uh, or usually from a blank slate. So what you're looking at is a the, or the startup screen for GDevelop. We're going to select Create a New Project. We're going to scroll down, we're going to select empty game. And then once we did that, we see this menu to the left pop up. We're going to click this plus button underneath scenes. I'm going to left click there and then I'm going to select new scene. Okay. Once I did that, we see this menu here or, or this scene pop up here. We're going to look to the right. We're going to click the uh, plus button here. We're then going to select Sprite. We're going to change the name from the object name from new object to space. We're then going to click this button to the, this uh, plus button to the right. We're then going to click the plus button to the left. We're going to go to where our background object is. I'm going to select the space background. I'm going to left click here. I'm then going to click open. And then the rest of uh, these settings here are fine. So I'm going to click apply. Okay, what I'm going to do now is left click on space. You can see it's highlighted blue. Now that it's highlighted blue, I'm going to left click and drag this out to our work area here. I'm going to roll the mouse wheel back. You can see this black border here. This is the border for our game. I'm going to left click and drag this space so it's uh, overlapping that black border. I'm going to roll the mouse wheel back. I'm holding my middle mouse button to scroll the uh, screen to the left. I'm going to left click on the space background, right click, then select copy. I'm then going to right click, then select paste. And now we have this uh, duplicate of our background here. So I'm just lining this up so they're side to side. I'm going to left click, so left click here so I'm deselected on that uh, copied space background. Okay, in GDevelop, often you'll bring sprites onto your main work area, and typically you'll resize those sprites. If you resize the sprite and then you want to have uh, another sprite be the same size as the resize sprite, you can do just like we did here where I copied the uh, sprite object and then pasted that sprite object. Okay, in G develop, this is where we work on our art assets. We're going to go to uh, where we program now. So we're going to go to the near the top of the screen. We're going to left click here. And then what we're going to do is go to this button here. We're going to click plus. Once we did that, we can see this add condition as well as this add action uh, option. In G develop, add conditions. Uh, when you add conditions, is basically when you tell G develop when something happens. When you add an action, you basically tell G develop what to do when something happens. Okay, we're going to add our first condition. So we're going to hover over this add condition. We're going to left click. We're going to go to scene. We're then going to select at the beginning of the scene. And then we're going to click OK. Okay, now we're going to add an action. So we're going to select add action. We're going to go to variables. We're going to select right here. And then where we see this right here, we're going to click the, uh, when I say here, I mean where we see variable, we're going to click this uh, blue button. We're going to click this plus button to the right. We're going to change this name to scroll capital S 
speed. We're going to leave everything else how it is. We're going to click apply. Now we're going to left click where we see variable. We're going to select scroll speed. We're going to click here. We're going to change this to equals uh, set to. And then for here, this setting, we're going to enter in one. We're then going to click, I'm going to left click to deselect there. Now I'm going to click OK. OK, see how this uh, these two uh, settings, the add conditions as well as add action are highlighted. See how there's a blue underline under both of them? If I click here, you don't see that underline. It's just around here. You want this blue underline to be under add condition as well as add action. So if I click here, you can see that. And uh, once you have that blue outline, you want to click plus. And this will, what this does is this adds a new event for you to work with in GDevelop. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to click on this event here, and then we're going to go to add condition. We're going to go to common conditions for all objects. We're going to go to position. We're going to go to where we see compare exposition of an object. We're going to left click there. We're going to select space. For the sign of the test, we're going to go to less than or equal to. And then for this exposition, what we're going to do is we're going to click this blue button. We're going to scroll up to common expressions for all objects. We're going to left click there. We're going to go to size, left click there. Then we're going to select width and then left click there. So for the object, we're going to left click here. We can see space. We're going to left click there. Now we're going to click done. Then we're going to click OK. OK, this thing I'm going to show you here is extremely important. If you don't do this one thing I'm about to show you, what this this uh, your your screen will not scroll. This will not work. So what you want to do is left click where you see space. You're going to click to the front of this space dot with parentheses, parentheses, and you're just putting a minus symbol in the front and then you're going to left click. So you can see that minus symbol. You need to have that minus symbol or what I'm showing you in this tutorial will not work. So make sure you have that minus symbol. Okay, what we're going to do is add in action to this event. So we're going to click add action. We're going to go to common action for all objects. We're going to go down to position. We're going to select exposition of an object. That object that we want to work with is space. For the modification sign, we're going to set this to equals. And then for this setting, what we're going to do is go to the blue button. And what we're going to do is go to common expression for all objects. We're going to go to size. And then we're going to select width. Then when we see this pop up, uh, we're going to left click here, select space. Then we're going to select done. Then we're going to select OK. OK, we want to add another event. So we're going to make sure we have this highlighted blue. When I say highlighted blue, I'm talking about this line that's going around the condition as well as the action. We're going to click this plus button here. Now we have this new event to work with. We're going to left click on that new event. OK, uh, I had told you before that when you work with a condition, that's it's basically you're telling G develop when something happens and action says, you know, what to do when that something happens. When you don't put a condition here, pretty much this action, since it doesn't have, in, have you telling uh, G develop a specific time when to do this action, then G develop does this action for the most part all of the time. So that's what we want to happen in, in this case. So we're going to leave this condition uh, blank before we add our action. Okay, so what we want to do now is we want to add an action for this event. So I'm going to left click here. I'm going to click add action. I'm going to go to common action for all objects. I'm going to go to position. I scroll down. I'm going to select exposition of an object. So I'm going to left click there. I'm going to select space. For the modification sign, I'm going to select subtract. For this setting here, I'm going to click the plus button. I'm going to scroll up, select variables. I'm then going to select right here. So I'm going to left click and then I'm going to left click here and then select scroll speed. I'm then going to select done and then I'm going to click OK.